Hi again, I'm Terry Farrow. To briefly summarize the videos up to date, uh, in video number one, we talked about me developing this personal weight loss strategy. In video number two, we discussed how 3,500 calories equals one pound of weight and how the scale is your enemy. In video number three, we discussed your burn number. That's how to calculate how many calories you burn in a day. And in video number four, we talked about tracking your calories, the importance of it, and how to do it. Okay, just to reiterate, uh, I am not a medical professional of any kind, not a nutritionist or registered dietitian. The strategy I am discussing is strictly my own personal strategy developed for my weight loss. Okay, let's get started. Okay, today is day one of your new weight loss strategy. Are you ready? Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to get on the scale. First thing in the morning, after you pee, only in your underwear. We want the truest weight that we can get for you. Then you're going to take that number and you're going to multiply it by the activity level that you think you are. And that's going to give you your calories burned for the day. Now as an example, I'm just going to decide that the person is 200 pounds, the activity level is the medium activity at 12.5, which means for example purposes, that person can eat 2,500 calories a day. That's how many they burn. Okay, but the goal here is to eat less calories than you burn every day. And every day that you do that, you are successful. Okay, so let's say it's day one and you're going to start tracking your calories. At the end of day one, you're going to tally it up and let's say you ate 2,000 calories that day. Your burn number was 2,500 minus 2,000 that you ate, which means you saved 500 calories. Okay, let's go to day two, same thing. Tally up, you're not getting on the scale anymore, staying off the scale for two weeks because you don't want the scale to confuse you and influence what you're doing. Okay, you were successful in day one, you saved 500 calories. Day two, same thing, add them all up. Let's say you were even better on day two and you only ate 1,900 calories. That means on day two, you saved 600 calories. So your total for the two days now is 1,100 calories. And you're going to do this every day. And when you reach 3,500 calories, you will have lost one pound of weight. Congratulations. Okay, it's very important to remember that every day that you eat less calories than you burn, you are successful. You can eat anything you want as long as you account for the true calories associated with it. You can also save additional calories by doing some structured exercise, like brisk walking or dancing. I uh, use a general rule of allowing 50 calories for every 10 minutes of continuous movement. So if you did 20 minutes of dancing, that gives you another 100 calories that you saved that day and can be added to your cumulative tally. If you want to lose weight a little bit faster, you can restrict your calories a bit more. So instead of consuming between 1,800 and 2,000 calories a day, you can go down to 1,600. If your burn number is 2,500 and you're only eating 1,600 calories a day, that means you're going to save 900 calories a day, so you'll get to that 3,500 calorie mark much faster. If you rather eat more and lose weight slower, then you can eat more than 2,000 calories a day. If your burn number is 2,500 and you eat 2,100, then you're still saving 400 calories a day. And of course, you could always add exercise to that to give yourself even more calories to either save or just to eat something else. Some people have told me that this way is too slow. And it is slow. But don't forget, you're not suffering. And suffering, by not being able to eat anything you enjoy, is the reason most people quit their diets. Doing it this way, with the torture factor removed, 
you can do it for a longer period of time. So even if you only lose one pound a week in three months, that'll be 13 pounds or 26 pounds in six months. The secret to the success of this strategy is that you are in control. You know how many calories you can have. You know how many calories you're eating. And you can make adjustments up and down all along the way. Every day that you eat less calories than you burn, you are successful. And that feeling of being successful is what keeps you going over the long haul. A very important aspect of this weight loss strategy is not to torture yourself, not to be hungry all the time, not to, to deny yourself the things that you love. The very best taste of something like cake, pie, pizza, ice cream is that very first taste. It's called the theory of diminishing returns. So why not have it, but just have a small amount? This way you can account for the calories and still enjoy what you crave. 20 years ago, I developed this weight loss strategy and I knew right out of the gate that it was going to work for me. I felt like I had control. I felt like I finally understood how to manage my weight. Ever since I developed this weight loss strategy, I've been wanting to share it with people. I have personally used my, this system off and on over the last 20 years. Every time I gain a bit of weight and I want to lose it, I just put the system right back into play and I'm able to lose the weight that I don't want. Recently, I guess because of the pandemic, I found that instead of my 160 pounds, which is my ideal weight, as I've already discussed with you, I was up to 165.2 pounds as of January 3rd. So here I go. I decided to employ this system and I'm happy to say three weeks in, I've lost four pounds. And I expect that I'm going to lose the rest of the weight very shortly. So I am positive this system works. If it works for me, it can work for you. Okay, now that we've discussed how to track your calories, I want to show you a spreadsheet that I personally use. Okay, so here you can see the cur my current weight is 165.2 and I've allowed my activity burn rate to be 14. Not the top number 15, um, but I, I consider myself a high activity person, but not as active as I used to be. When I did this 20 years ago, I actually used 15 as my number, but now I've reduced it to 14. Because as you get older, you just, I think, naturally slow down a bit. Anyway, so the calories burned in a day would be 2,313. Then you, you can see that I've given myself 100 calories for exercise. Every day I do at least 20 minutes of structured exercise. So that means I could eat 2,413 calories if I wanted to stay exactly the same, but since I'm trying to lose weight, I have to eat less than that. If you go down to, these are all the items that I ate in a day. This day was January 3rd. Uh, it totals 1,850 calories. So if you subtract 2,413 from 1,850, I will have saved 563 calories on day one. Okay, so that's day one. Day two. My burn rate and all the stuff that's at top stays the same, but now this is what I ate on day two. Totals 1,730 calories, which means I did a little bit better. So day two, I saved 683 calories. Now this is the beauty part. You add the 563 from day one to the 683 from day two, and so far, in two days, I've saved 1,246 calories. That's one-third of a pound. Good job, Terry. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing these spreadsheets, uh, they would be included in the written transcript of this YouTube series. series. Uh, for a nominal fee of $10, I will email you the transcript. Just let me know. 
Okay, that's it for today. Stay tuned for the next video.